Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim coming at you with a let's play of a game called Klaus. Klaus, created by La Casa Entertainment and originally released in 2016 on the PS4, PS Vita, and Microsoft Store, is now available for the Nintendo Switch for $15 USD. And that's what I played it on. I actually played it during a stream. And thanks to La Casa Entertainment, we got a copy for me to do that. So we can share it with you. And as always, I, I am honored to do that with the community and get that up. And it does not, I, I don't want to make light of that. I always appreciate being able to get that. So thank you very much to the community for letting me be able to do this. And thank you for La Casa uh, Entertainment for allowing us to have a copy. With that, also I want to let you guys know, if you get this in time, we are also giving away a copy of the game. So jump over to twitter.com, Nintendo Dads, uh, and check out our giveaway tweet. And do it, like I said, quickly before that go, uh, run, the time runs out. So make sure you go do that if you want to win a copy of this game. Why would you want to win a copy of this game? Because it is a... 2D platformer, puzzle platformer that I've got to enjoy playing during the stream. And that's what uh, you're watching a little bit of that, of what I got to do during the stream. Um, it's listed as a 2D puzzle platformer with a self-aware narrative. And if you notice during this gameplay, there's little bits of the narrative coming up on the screen that you can read while you're playing through. And it's basically him talking to you, the gamer. He realizes that when you start playing for the, through the first level, that someone's there helping him and he's still trying to figure it out. Uh, so, and I appreciate that very much, that the first levels in this game is walking you through, obviously, how do you, what buttons do what, and when to do it. There's, and anytime you come to something new, it does a really good job of teaching you how to get through that section of, of the game. Um, one of the things I also like about this is that it is knocking at the door of the fourth wall. I haven't gotten quite far enough into the game yet to see how far it goes into that, but like I said, he's, he's aware of someone helping him through these things and someone controlling some of these platforms. Uh, the ones that you can hack and, and that he hacks and then you control. Uh, Klaus, again, is the main character. He's the guy that you see running through the screen here. He is stuck in the basement of the structure that we find him in, but he's lost his memory. So he's piecing it together as you guide him through this basement, as you make your way up or down through the levels. And the, the game does it, like I said, it does a great job of teaching you how to do these things. Like, uh, it, it, like in this situation, you're using ZR to point to a platform that you can control and move. And here Klaus is taking control or hacking a system that he remembers how to do so that pl other platforms turn on. Uh, this platform was blocking the way to go down so you had to turn it on. So it wasn't a choice yet to make in should you turn it on or turn it off. So but you basically get through each section of the basement and you move on to the next section with new things to learn about what you can do. Uh, one of the things you can saw there too, is, and I sped that up, is that there is a large amount of load times there, a long load times for each section. I sped it up so we can get through it and move on to the next level, but uh, when you're actually playing it, I noticed it was longer than usual for this type of game. Not sure why. Uh, I don't know if it's just a Switch thing or whatever, and maybe they'll patch it eventually, but um, um, yeah, it's... It's there just to warn you, there is a low time between sections. But when you're in the platform, when you're in the game, there's no, there's nothing else affecting the gameplay, which I appreciate. One of the other things I noticed here too is that when I was explaining this game to my daughter, because she asked about it when I was just finishing up the stream, was what's it like? And I said, well, it's a 2D platformer. It takes some elements of obviously a platform, we all think of Mario. so. One of the things that I associated to Mario in this game was the this secret thing or orb that you find that sends you to another part of the basement. It 
kind of reminded me of the warp pipe that you would go down and get to to get more coins in the underground part of Mario, Super Mario. So in this case, there's two different situations. This is the first, this is the second time I've hit this situation where I found this orb and go into the secret area. In this case, I have uh, myself on the top and my shadow on the bottom is what I'm associating it to that you are guiding through to get through these uh, through this section so you have to time it right you gotta be running at the same time and line them up right and get through the game uh, or get through the section otherwise you could get killed on the top or you can get killed on the bottom so I thought that was a pretty cool element and then the first time I ran into this uh, it was a little bit different where I could only move left through the game uh, through the section uh, so I had to use platforms to help push me back to the right side of the board uh, and hack certain things to make my way up the board. I could jump and I could move left, but that's all I could do, which was an interesting mechanic and helped change things up. So initially, even though it's a let's play, it's also kind of my first impressions of the game because when I was playing it via stream, it was uh, its first impressions of the game while I'm playing it with you guys or while you guys are watching it. And essentially what I found is, is that the difference between this and some of the other platformers we're used to is that it's not just about going saying the princess or anything like that. It, there's a narrative here. There's a story here. You're trying to help Klaus figure out where he came from, why he ended up in the basement, why he's this way, why he forgot everything, why he's even in this place to begin with, why, why this place the way, is the way it is. So it's keeping me intrigued. Will it keep me intrigued long enough to keep playing it? Or will some other new shiny new game come along and take me away from it? Who knows? That's going to time only tell. But right now, I'm really enjoying the mechanics of the game. I'm really enjoying what this game represents and gives while playing it. And I will continue to play it. And if I don't, I will, of course, let the community know and uh in our discord channels or even if you listen to the nintendo dad's podcast i will probably let you know there if i'm still playing it if you don't hear me saying i'm playing it it's either i'm coming back to it because i have other games to play or i'm not playing it anymore so that should be kind of a review in itself right now my goal is yes i want to keep playing this in the meantime i hope it gives you enough information to be able to decide what you want to do with this game because it's ultimately about you right what do you want to do? How are you? Is this the type of game you would be interested in? If it is, again, go to the eShop for the Nintendo Switch. It's 15 USD there. And it's available now. So go check it out. Unless you win it, don't forget to go to the Twitter account and try to see if you can win it. I'll see if I can get Justin to extend the contest. Until next time, guys. Until the next time I do a stream or the next time I do a video. Thanks for checking out this one. And I'll check you later.